What's up, people? It's King Nathan four zero seven. I'm back again with another video for you guys to watch and tune in. Obviously, um, there has been a few changes. I've changed my name. Before it was Nathan Chafrew, now it's King Nathan four zero seven. Reasons why is because <clears throat> I wanted to start this new year with a new change and with a new name. So yeah. Um, so let's get straight to it. So if if you've read like the title, yes, and what I'm about to say and it's very true. Now you guys know I made up a superhero franchise called Jigil Man, and I've been talking about this for the whole of 2018. I've been telling you guys about it, and I finally. Finally, got out, uh, got out of the comfort zone, you know, with it, and I'm bringing it out, guys. So, a couple of days ago, not not days, a month ago, just before, but before, before December, or something like that, I was talking to um, a friend of mine, which um, he's a YouTuber as well. His name's um, Spento Knight. So yeah, yeah I, I talked to him. You, you guys remember Joffrey, right? Jeff Daniel Kelly on my, you know, previous videos. You wanna, if you want, you can go check that video out. Um, I spoke to him and he introduced me to this app called What Wattpad, and I was like, "What's this all about? You can write your own story. You can <coughs> read people's books. You can <coughs> have to clear out my throat." <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, um, you can do a lot of things, and I was like, cool. Um, let me tap up on Google. I went into the website and I tapped up Golden Tiger, which is his superhero because I am my own hero. And I read it and I loved the way the app was present. I liked the way the app was um, presented. And I like the way they made the layouts. So I was really impressed with this app. Because at that time I had some difficulties with um, the internet and all that. Which everyone has difficulties sometimes. I, I had it as well. And I couldn't really access to it. So I was like really thrilled about this app. And I really wanted to write a story. My story. So obviously I was going to write Jaguar Man as the story. And um, it was something that I've always wanted to do because I knew these comics weren't enough. I knew just me writing comics won't be enough. So instead of me just saying that, I finally made the decision just to write my own um, book about it. So it's always been like that. So it came and i um added an account obviously my you know email and address and password and all that and i made my own account which is called king nats 876 now if anyone has warpad i suggest you to type it up uh, i put the uh, the name links down below i just put the name so yeah so you guys can check it out so um i put and ba bang i started to write my story now there are 12 chapters to the first story which is a lot of chapters many people a book is supposed to average to have six chapters but i went over the limit i went to 12 chapters the reason why is because i have so many ideas for this and i, I want this to it's, it's my project i'm working on right now so I've been pacing, 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 Ryan, 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 Ryan. So there's 12 chapters and they're all published. They're all published. So if you guys have, if you, so if you want, you can go on Google, type of Wattpad. I put down below. Um, find my account or at least type up Jaguar Gotham City's Defender and you'll find it. So yeah, the name of the story is Jaguar Gotham City's Defender for one. And um, it's clear. I mean... Honestly, it's the whole, it's first of all, it starts with the whole origin story. So, yeah, and it's really good. Yeah, 
so that's all about the new published um, story and also I'm going to be doing um, obviously the origin too but, the, but not now later on but I'm not finished I'm not finished it's not the end of the video I'm not finished I'm not finished so obviously um, I had to think like a thinker I had to think like a reader what would I want out of this book Jagerman I, sometimes I just imagine myself going to the store and picking up this book. What would I want out of this book? So I became I became the reader. I started to type up things. I started to type up as if I was the reader, as if there was as if I was gonna pick this book up. So I made a lot of changes to be honest, because I'm I mean I don't think. I don't think in the present, I think in the future, I think on how to improve. So instead, I just, you know, I looked out of the box or thought out of the box. So you, you guys all know this issue, Jagerman Origin 1. And, you know, everyone, everyone, yeah, you guys know this issue. And um, I changed this issue so much. The only thing that is there is Jagman's character, and that's it. Basically, his friends as well, like Michael Jones, Samuel Jones, Natasha Williams, his mom, Gwendolyn, his father, Henry, Batman's in it. There are, there are some things that have always been there. But the main thing I changed the most was the villain. Now, Glidestone... I remember I was like go so guessed about Glastone. I was like saying, Oh Glastone's gonna be the hero, oh Glastone, Glastone, but I changed my mind and I picked the mind blower. Now the mind blower is in the remastered version of Jagermine issue five. Reasons why is because I wanted to mix things up. I didn't just wanna go one line, I wanted to mix things up because I've realized one thing. If if you notice these Marvel movies, DC movies, they don't stick to the full origin story. They try, and this goes for any um, movie that's based on a book. They don't stick to the story one hundred percent. So what I did was I didn't want to stick to the story one hundred percent. I just wanted to make the origin story into a book, and um, this is what I came up. So mind blow. So let's talk about the mind blow. The mind blow is is a villain. Is a very is a unique villain. I like the mind the mind blow or the grand mind blow. I like the mind blow because it's a unique. It's a unique. Um, it, he's a unique villain that um, I think many people will enjoy. So basically, his origin is his name is Doctor Stuart Peter Hall. He was a well-known scientist, scientist in Gotham. He um, cured diseases. He found DNAs. He found this. He found that. And basically, in a presentation, when he's presentating presentating his work, everything changed for him, and he was never the, he was never the same. An explosion. Basically, there was a bomb inside the room, Lab Twenty Three, and it exploded, and it ended up killing his wife. So obviously, his life changed because he lost his. He lost everything. He lost his wife. He lost his work. Everything was damaged. So um, he had this anger in him. He had this rage. So he asks for help, he asks for the police for help, they didn't help him. He even went up going to ask Batman, Bruce Wayne. I mean, he doesn't know who Bruce Wayne is, but he went up with Batman for help, he didn't help him. So he had this anger infusing him, and then he just snapped. So he moved away from Gotham. On his way to Gotham... <sighs> it's a sad story. He moved away from Gotham. He... He ended up doing a lot of crazy stuff. So he was broke. He had no money for a while. Until he found this military thingy, these soldiers. And he started to train. 
and he took a five-year course of training. He served in Afghanistan, Africa, South America. He served in those countries until he became too powerful and he became a threat and he was killing people in his own team. So they, um, they sacked him, he got fired. And again, he still had this anger over Gotham and he knew one day he will return. So in this issue he returns and yeah, so that's his origin and I added that in because I wanted to search more into um, my own creative mind and I took a lot of inspiration for this story as well. So that's one of the changes. The last change before I shut down this video, the last change that I've made is JM suit. And basically, in the comics, JM, um, his suit is so technology advanced that he doesn't even need to put it on. He has his watch, right, and he just presses it. Well, that idea is scrapped or threw in the bin for this story. Reasons why it's too unrealistic, it's too fantasized, and I want this to actually have some real elements to it. So, this is what happens. You see... In issue um, one, when Glystone threw JM off that bridge, and then Batman saved his life. It's the same thing with Mindblower, but instead, instead of Batman saving his life, this is what JM did. He was in a fight with the Mindblower. The Mindblower pushed him into the ocean. And then, yeah, because Jigos are good swimmers, JM was able, because he has Jigo DNA, he has... The speed, he has the smell, he has everything with the Jaguar, he's able to swim. So he swam and he found himself on land, on an island basically. And this was in the middle of night, this was dark, pitch dark, midnight. And JM was like, he was looking around, his, his homemade costume was ripped. And he was like, whoa, what is going on? So basically he found this entrance and he didn't know where he was. But he actually entered the bat cave. He realized this and he found some shelter and he kept himself like he, he just found somewhere to crash and stay over for the night. So during this, he looked at his suit again and he was like, he was so frustrated. He had no idea what to do. So because he was in the hands of the Batcave, there were gadgets, there was everything that JM needed. So instead of Batman just making his own suit, JM made his own suit by himself. He, um, <clears throat> he done everything by himself and he made this full tech suit, which is decent, which is really decent. And it's basically, it's, it's the same cut, sorry. It's the same cut as this, it's the same exact costume as this. But, um, more advanced and it's more realistic. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a happy new year and peace.